Welcome to the Brackle channel. Please hit that thumbs up and subscribe so more of this information can get out. Really important. I want to thank you, all my subscribers, for watching my videos and subscribing and sharing. Really appreciate you guys, especially Maricopa Mike who promoted my channel and anybody else that's promoting that I don't know. Thank you. Now, we have information on leftist operatives that have been running elections way more than we realize. Now, before I go into this video, I wanna tell I'm you, I'm gonna put up a short video that talks about a recent poll that came out that's really good news. And I just wanna introduce it to this in this video. I'm gonna be going out of town, so I won't be able to be putting it up like I normally do, but I'm gonna to try to link it in this video later. Anyways, so about the operatives. So there's one group in particular, though there are many, and they have ties with George Soros, a number of left-wing progressive type billionaires. But the one group I wanna focus on here is called the Election Group. And there's a lady who's the co-founder by the name of Jennifer Morrell. Now, this lady has experience, combined her and her partner of 30 years experience in elections, and they promote themselves as elections consultant. What they have experience doing is running election offices, transitioning models and election equipment, and advocating for policy change. This Jennifer Morrill lady actually had a Zoom or some kind of podcast that had a group of people talking about mail-in ballots and how you can do it securely and the whole process. And she's known for talking about the processes and everything. She goes into detail with security mechanisms and how the chain of custody and all these things that need to be in place. Well, guess what? They were not followed in Maricopa County and they were not followed in Fulton County, Georgia. So where she shows up or her group shows up, the security mechanisms that she says need to be in place for a secure election don't end up being there. Chain of custody issues, ballot issues, wrong ballot paper, go down the list of everything she says they're not there where her team showed up. And it turns out that she had a team, a part of the process in the elections of Fulton County, Georgia, and Morrell herself actually showed up in Arizona during the Maricopa County audit that was being conducted at the Veterans Moral Coliseum. This lady, Jennifer Morrell, was actually one of the observers that was sent by Secretary of State Katie Hobbs and of course, what later followed was what we would call a hit piece put together by her and published in the Washington Post. And it was pretty much just disparaging and really belittling and condescending toward cyber ninjas and those that were conducting the audits. She's also a part of the team that signed letters that were sent to the Senate, particularly to Senator Karen Fan, just really discrediting, seeking to discourage the Senate, and literally pushing to stop the audit. That's her. Wow. Amazing. Stunning. 